Yo, uh, what's going on guys? It's your boy Seth here with a video here today. Bring you guys a one minute better design series video title, whatever it is, I don't really know, but hopefully it just pops up right around here, right? It's a pretty fun, just abstract, just super just dope concept of like patterns and chalk and other things and just other, just, I have no idea. But it's fun, it's just really one of these really cool things where I just kinda take this series and I just kinda make just really fun things you can use for literally anything. So this kinda style here, you can definitely use for like backgrounds, headers, advertisements you can set the theme up by just making whatever shapes that you guys want it's super flexible i think it's one of those super dope uh, tutorials that you guys definitely don't want to miss so if you're here you're lucky so hope you guys do enjoy if you guys want to check out any of the other series uh videos in this series in the top over right i'll just put a little panel and uh yeah love you guys and hope you guys enjoy it all right guys to get started you can set up with any background that you would like i personally start off with an almost pure black being the hex code 060606 Next thing you're gonna wanna have to do is set up your brushes, which you can easily find the ones I provided you guys in the description down below. Then when you guys are done downloading those, you guys can go back into your Photoshop and have your brush selected. Now with your brush selected, you guys wanna right click somewhere around the canvas, it'll bring up the brush settings, and you wanna basically click on the cogwheel in the top right corner. Then of course you wanna choose preset manager, then select load, and load up the brushes wherever you guys ended up downloading it to. And following that, to finish up setting up your banner, you guys want to make sure you guys still have your brush tool selected, and right above your canvas, toward the middle left, you guys will notice the symmetrical tool option. When you guys click on it, you guys want to make sure you guys choose vertical symmetry, and by default, the line will appear directly in the middle. And to go ahead and size it up, because I know it's going to be a little bit shorter, just hold Alt on your keyboard and click on the middle anchor on your transform tool, and move your mouse a little bit farther up. And you guys are now ready to get going. All right, guys, so I'm going to be hop in with you guys now and just going to show you guys how simple and easy it truly is. And OK, so you already have all this kind of stuff set up. So we're going to actually just make a new layer and just hop right into it. OK, so I'm going to basically be using my first brush option, which is going to be let's use our like chalk brush first. OK, so I think my size right now is about a 22 percent on a 3000 by 1000 uh, dimensional size for my header design, just so you guys kind of get a reference. And basically, I want to make sure I change my color, my foreground color here, to a sort of off, uh, offset white. So I kind of have E3, E3, E3 kind of going, okay? So also, just so you guys know, the symmetrical line is just basically when you do one side, it's going to always show on the other side the exact same thing. And uh, yeah, it's just like, just just simple as that, okay? Also, things to keep notice, I'm going to be making straight lines by holding shift the entire time. Just so you guys know, I'm not like a perfect hand making straight lines. Just make sure you guys understand that holding shift while you use your brush, you click once, you move over, you hold shift, you click again, that will make the straight line, just so you guys know, okay? So I'm going to basically start off, okay, with a little bit of shapes here. So I'm going to go a, a first a triangle here, okay? We're going to do a nice little shape over here as well, like almost like a rhombus kind of thing. And then we're going to do like a, a like a rectangle of some sort, I guess, you know? Let's just do this, okay? Right, a little rectangle. And then you can kind of go with a theme. You can do like shapes. You can go into things doing just like random just like swirls. I'll do like a random swirl here, right? You can do some other shapes like crazy zigzags, right? We can do some little, just little, how do you say it? Let's just do like little squiggles over here, right? You can even go ahead and let's just do like a cool sort of kind of shape right here. I mean, I'm just doing random things, right? It, it, I mean, no matter what you end up doing, uh, it looks pretty good at the end of it, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and do another shape over here. I'll do another like rectangle. The thing you can do as well, if you wanna like play around with like depth and stuff like that, you can just do another triangle or whatever inside the other triangle and fill it in loosely, right? You kind of do this little fun, little loose sort of like thicker strokes in a certain area kind of thing. It just gives it more dynamic, just more feeling, just more like, you know, love put into it. Right, so I'll do another like crazy shape here. Let's just do something really random that just like ends up working, right? Something like that. I'll just add another line because I could, right? We'll just another, add a little line over here as well because honestly, I could. Okay, and I'm just gonna do maybe like a cool, like a cool arrow, right? So a cool arrow, right? Just something like that. More squigglies over here. And then just like, let's just do a random, let's just do a circle because we like circles, right? And like, no matter what we're doing, it's gonna look okay. I promise you it's gonna look okay. We'll do a little small little circle there. And we'll do another small circle here because we love circles, okay? So I'm gonna go ahead, actually we love triangles as well. We, we stand triangles, honestly, okay? So now we're pretty much done here. The this, uh, next next part, excuse me, I can just go ahead and just also turn off my symmetrical, uh, you know, my symmetrical mode, turn that off. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna use the lasso tool and we're gonna basically go over a few shapes uh, that we just wanna cut out, right? So I'm gonna go over this one first. I'm gonna cut this out. Right, you'll notice we have a now selection. If you guys wanna hold shift on your keyboard, you can basically do another uh, selection while also not getting rid of this selection. And basically the constant you wanna think in your head is just think of this as a half still, right? And you just wanna select half of these, um, right? And then the other side, select another half of the, uh, on the other side, but also try to make sure you don't really try to select the same half ones you did on the other side. You get what I'm saying? So you select one half, half, 
and you select the other half's half, but try not to make sure you select the same ones, right? Because obviously it's a symmetrical design. So if you guys want to do that, just go ahead and do so. But I'm also going to show you another quick little trick as well. If you guys use Q, which is the uh, quick mode selection, right? You can see it's, it turns red really quickly. It's right below your color picker, right? So if I use a brush now, okay, like a regular default brush, if I fill in, you'll notice if I fill in with white, this will basically say, hey, you're going to be cutting this out, right? Basically erasing. So if I just want to go around and do this a little more quicker, that is basically how you can go ahead and do that. Um, yeah, that's just, I want to show you that little trick. So I'm going to go ahead and do this myself and uh, get some of these uh, shapes cut out. Also, guys, a quick little thing. If you guys notice right here, so I kind of go over it. If you guys do press X on your keyboard or just press the switch color, if you guys just switch it to black and then you fill it back in, you guys can then fix where you kind of went over. So I don't want to cut this shape out. So I'll fix it. And I'll just kind of like say, hey, I don't want to cut it out. Just so you guys know. Okay, so I'm pretty much done cutting out all the shapes that I want to cut out or at least highlighting them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to use my rectangle marquee tool. That way, when I give a right click to my mouse on the canvas, I get the option layer via cut. And this is basically what I want to do. So I basically cut out some of these shapes here and we're going to immediately give this a color. Okay, I'm going to use color overlay. I'm going to be using this really nice sort of hot pinkish reddish kind of tone. You guys can pick any color you want in the entire world, right? I'm going to press OK. Then on my outer glow, I'm going to make sure I choose a very similar color, uh, somewhere very, very close to it, right? You can kind of see the same colors are matching on this outer glow and the color overlay. And I'm also going to change my blend mode from normal to linear dodge add and also give myself a pretty good amount of size. I'll just say 70 just to make it nice and even for you guys, even numbers, right? And I'll press OK and you'll notice a nice little sort of glow is going to be going around as well. So now that you guys have your colors all good to go, I'm going to go ahead now and go to my adjustments table here, right? Or my adjustments layers or my adjustments options. Sure, we'll call it that. And I uh, use the hue and saturation. Okay. Now with this, I'm going to choose a nice sort of secondary color for me. We're probably going to have three colors in this. I'm going to choose like a cool, like neonish, like green. That, that's pretty cool to me. Okay. So what I'm going to notice is if you guys see, if I click on this thumbnail here, no matter what your colors are beforehand, they will change these, uh, your foreground and background colors to black and white by default. Okay. Now what you guys want to do is basically make sure you change this to black. I'm going to show you guys how to do that really quickly, right? Alt backspace, you'll notice it'll basically quick fill the background color. Now, if your background color or your, your background color is white and your foreground color is black, you just press alt backspace. So if you guys want to quickly just figure it out, just press control backspace or alt, alt backspace. You basically want to make sure that it's no longer visible, right? That means it's black is turned off, right? Now, if I take my brush, right, and I use a white brush, I'm going to make sure I make a soft brush because I want you. If you don't use a soft brush, you'll notice that the glow, if I use a hard brush, it'll kind of cut off really awkwardly. So make sure you guys use a soft brush when you do this. But you just want to go over it and you just want to go over a few spots to change the color. So I'm going to just go over a few spots. Like so, uh, I think this one's, yeah, I mean, uh, why not? Let's do that one now. Okay, so I think like four or five, I would say go over. Then you're gonna basically do this one more time. Okay, I was gonna go again, Q and saturation, and we're gonna use like a cool orange, I think. I really wanna use orange. Let's just go with, no, uh, I mean, I wanna make sure I change this color to orange, right? Cause we already changed these colors. So I wanna change this one to orange. Then I'm gonna do the same exact thing, control backspace. All backspace, whichever one has to do, whichever one makes it black is when I want to make sure you do, right? Then I can use my brush again, and then I'll go over it one more time. Boom. We're going to go with orange this time for some of these. I think over here would be pretty nice. Over here would be pretty nice. Okay. I think like, yeah, I'm okay with this. Okay, cool. Oh, quick interjection. Yeah, I just wanted to say the other brush you guys have in the pack is a sort of like fun little sort of like a uh, hard style brush. So if you guys ever want to go around these areas and kind of break around this kind of chalky theme with this sort of like harder style brush, I would definitely advise it. Also, it's a pretty cool thing to kind of use to kind of scribble things in and just to give a little more depth. I almost forgot, but I did it. So now I remembered and now you guys know as well. Cool. So I think we want to make this a little bit more kind of like more in depth in a sense. So we're going to go ahead and go back to our original cutout, right? These are our original shapes down here. And uh, you see if I I'll turn it off and turn it on. So I'm going to go ahead and use the actual uh, layer mask. Take my brush. Okay. Now, if you guys notice, black will erase. White will fill in. Black erases. White fills in right on this layer mask. Okay. Now, I'm going to take my opacity lower to 30%. Here we go. Now, what I'm going to end up doing here is black is going to erase. So if I just click once, kind of go over it, it'll erase by 30%. If I go again, It'll do 60%. So I just basically want to go over my shapes and just give them a little bit of depth and just kind of like, yeah, just go over it a few times. Okay. So I'm going to do that same exact thing on another few shapes. We're just going to, we'll leave some of them pure white as well, but I want to make sure I give a little bit of depth in the, uh, you know, where things kind of popping up at. Right. So I'm just going to go over here as well. 
and uh, just do a few more times right i'll make this one like super light then i'll use that leave that one white leave that one white i think all the other ones are actually pretty good and i think we can kind of stop with there you kind of see how it's just adding a little bit of dimension between what's popping in what's popping out and then just once more time we're going to take a duplicate of this actually we're going to hold alt drag this down below right that makes a duplicate of it now if you guys want to or you guys probably need to but make sure you press alt backspace or control backspace whichever one makes it completely pure white or if you don't want to do that you can just literally honestly delete the layer mask and it's the same exact thing okay so i'm going to press v on my keyboard to use the movement tool press control t to free transform take this uh corner here alt and shift i'm gonna hold that as well make this a little bit bigger okay now we're making that a little bit bigger i'm gonna move it just awkwardly in a different kind of angle and then i'm gonna take my opacity and lower this down just a little bit okay give ourselves a nice little kind of look there then I'll use a layer mask one more time. That's why I kind of wanted to want to delete delete it, but just kind of get your you know your mind right. You can bring it back up if you guys wish to. And then 30% still on black. If I go around and erase a few areas, you'll notice we're just adding a little bit of depth in there. Okay. Okay. I think I'm just gonna add my text in, and you guys will notice you guys got yourself a pretty cool sort of like chalky neon theme going on. So that is basically how you guys do it. Okay. So if you guys did enjoy today's video here today, hopefully it was easy to follow and you guys just understand this can be used in a banner design. It can be used as a cool backing for advertisements. It can be used for anything because you can just, you can even use it like for themes, right? If you want to do a school theme, you just do pencils. You just draw little pencils. Or if you want to do like a cool, like, you know, an anime theme, just draw like different things from anime or whatever, or draw like a literally anything. It could be whatever you're your hand can draw so keep that in mind um make it as fun as possible for you add some different colors and different values into it um you can even add some noise if you want to add some noise into it just you know kind of control alt shift s everything together noops not s control alt shift e there we go that will make it into one layer you can do some noise as well that'll make it look like almost like a chalkboard right you kind of got a chalkboard theme going on here you know you put it in some some liquify in there as well i did a little bit of liquify let me just do a little bit of liquify for you guys I did, I did that before and I was like, this looks pretty cool. But yeah, I just don't, I want to give all the ideas away. I want you guys to explore it, you know, have fun with it. So you can also make your own kind of theme with it. So you want to put a little liquify. I'll do like a little bit of twist, right? In certain areas, right? This is what I did before. And I was like, this looks pretty freaking cool too, right? So this also adds a little bit of cool value and just mixture to it. So enjoy it. Have fun with it. Hope you guys enjoy. Talk to you guys later. So that's HQ out. Do not forget to keep smiling. Stay positive and stay freaking productive, guys. Later. Much love and hope you enjoyed.